So take a look at workshop six. Um, draw the mechanisms and products for the reaction below. Hint, you first must draw a chair confirmation. I think for this one, right, the hint here is you look at the type of electrophile, right? So this is a tertiary electrophile. So that means it can't do SN2, right? Because it's too hysterically bulky. And then you look at the nucleophile. We've already eliminated SN2 at this point, hopefully. We have to have. You look at the nucleophile and you see it's reactive. It doesn't matter the size at this point because you've already eliminated SN2 because of tertiary alkyl halide, the type of electrophile. So it's reactive, so that tells you it's E2. If it's E2, things that should come off, come off of your brain are, right, one step, three arrows, anti-periplanar. Right? These are the kind of things that should just like pop into your head. Right? That means 180 degrees apart. The H and the leaving group, right? Just boom. So before you look at it, you should write that down or know that kind of stuff beforehand, right? One of the things, um, right, trying not to complicate your life, right? You already know it's an E2, so think about E2. Okay, so we know it's E2. So I need to get the bromine, right, when it's E2, I need the leaving group to be um, axial. Doesn't matter up or down, it just needs to be axial. So I wrote the hint here, you must first draw a chair confirmation. So first you got to convert this into a chair. So you gotta be able to do that. The way I like to do it, the wedges are up, hatches are down. So I put the bromine, there's picked any spot in the chair, it doesn't matter which one I pick. Put the bromine axial, because I like it up, up, down, down, just to match things up, if you can draw the chair right. So once I draw it down here, now I'm looking for what? Well, because it's E2, I should also be looking for beta hydrogens, right? Which are those sigma bonds, the sigma CH bonds, two bonds away, from the carbon attached to the leaving group. So one, two, there's one there. And there's one right here. One, two. So only one of them works, because only one of them is axial. Since the bromine's axial up, I need an axial down H, so it has to be this one, it can't be this one. Even though this would make a tetra-substituted alkene, I guess this one will too, but it won't be this one, it has to be this one, because again, one step, three arrows, one, two, three. Make sure this second arrow goes to the bond because that's where you're forming the pi bond. Three arrows, and it has to be anti paraplanar that beta H and the leaving group need to be 180 degrees apart. So then it's just drawn like that, and then it's just why I flattened it out too.